we're gonna use this mesh to make this Hello guys, Dai's in here. So, we have two emitter here. And I'm using real flow absolutely in Cinema 4D. It's a really good plugin. It's nice. As you see, we have two emitter and we wanted to blend this emitter together. As you see, I am already simulating this and already mesh it. As you see, I have Arnold Sky here, and let's set the render engine to Arnold. As you see, I am already set it. Let's hit the render in IPR window. Let's see the result. Okay, as you see, we have a raw fluid, and we need to shade it with material. Let's create one. Arnold standard and let's apply it to the mesh so let's have the basic color to make sure we have the color as you see we have the color okay in order to blending two fluid the reflow already help us with that and in the measure object we have a vertex map and in the channel tabs we have these options as you see we have this vertex map by default we have velocity x okay let me select that okay we have vertex velocity sorry velocity y velocity x and velocity z as you see to help us to, for shading actually so let's go to the channel and enable weight as you see we have vertex map named weight what we need we can change fluid to emitters and the measure object will give us two vertex map weight number one and weight number two number zero actually and those represent two emitter we have in the emitter object so the smoothing length scale control the how much will smooth the iteration between two emitters as you see I can increase that and the result will be smoother actually that's good information let's use vertex map the weight one and let's open our shadow editor and search for ramp okay let me close that the ramp okay we have the ramp let's apply to base color and let's see the result hit the render and let's let me change these colors okay as is nothing let's change the type to v and u and that's the default but uh, this will not help us to blend two emitters so what we need to do we need to use this type of custom and search for vertex map actually let's do it vertex map and input it that for the ramp and let's select our weight vertex and hit the render again let's see as you see we have this sorry and 
we have nothing to blend yet in the middle we need to change the color to the green as voila we have the color blending as you see that's very cool okay let me render that as animation and see ya in the result okay render is finished and as you see we have a nice blending fluid you see that in this area how the blending works perfectly so that was a quick tip and thank you for watching bye